say hi to the camera all right guys so usually i make videos about fish but uh today we're at the country home so i'm gonna make a video about stella and stella is my five-year-old doberman she's purebred doberman she's about uh, between 65 and 75 pounds depending on the season now it is winter here so it is a little bit colder and uh, since she was about 12 weeks old uh, i have fed her raw meat so there you go let's give her some bison bacon to uh keep her entertained here with us so her whole story with uh, the raw feeding is when I got her at 12 weeks old, Stella, sit. Thank you, girl. Uh, when I got her at 12 weeks old, uh, she was on regular kibble and it was actually written on her, uh, her little medical card, uh, Dobermans don't need too much protein, so avoid feeding too much protein. And so I followed that and I went and got like really good quality kibble. And then was the onset of her splurge and diarrhea and she had diarrhea for like about a week and it was non-stop. Stella, sit. Come on, do it for the bacon. Uh, so for a week uh, there was diarrhea everywhere so I decided to look into it and uh, after a lot of research I decided to put our, her on raw meat, raw feeding. So mostly animal based and by that i mean um anything uh from meat organs um eggs quail eggs uh, duck eggs everything like that her diet is muscle meat and we add about uh 25 percent organ meat bones. now she <laughs> yes bones yes of course she gets bones um there's a lot of uh, people, whenever you say, uh, I feed her chicken, they say, but the bones in it. So just to clarify, uh, bones, when they're uncooked, they're very safe. Uh, chicken bones and beef bones, lamb bones, those are the safe ones. Always uncooked, I'm talking. Uh, but uh, pork bones are a little bit edgier, so I don't suggest feeding your dog raw pork bones. You can feed the meat, but not the raw pork bones um it's very dangerous but any cooked bone will be extremely dangerous to feed to your dog so never feed anything cooked plus it denaturalizes the protein so you should never never feed cooked um meat to your dog it's just not good and especially not the bones um now like you can research it by yourself just see uh what the actual diet for a dog is best but like their ancestors the wolf uh the best is the raw meat the raw organs uh some vegetables are okay like in the nature when they eat an animal they'll also eat their stomach content and by that you also should feed them a little bit of um stomach how do you call the inside of the stomach tripe, tripe exactly some tripe um, it's very important to give them a lot of fat with their diet also during the winter month especially uh, there's a lot of nutrients in fat and the lard of the animal so and also uh, you should supplement with uh, some glucosamine especially when your dog reaches a certain age like five years old we give her sporadically some glucosamine and some fish fish oil um, she doesn't really like eating fish she prefers like uh, shrimp but <laughs> we give her shrimp sometimes occasionally and she loves bacon now stella sit sit be good girl all right um another thing is you cannot feed your dog like on cable three times a day it's one time or one time and a half meaning sometimes a little snack in the morning and then her real big meal in the evening after a long day of exercise uh, dogs will naturally not want to eat much during the beginning of the day because they haven't done their energetic expansion yet. Um, also, <laughs> some dogs like her prefer their meat to be a little bit fermented or very fermented. Um, for uh, organ meat, they prefer it fresh and should be fed fresh. But for um, the actual muscle meat and the fat, some dogs will bury their food for several weeks at a time, depending on the temperature it's at outside, and uh, then undig it once it's fermented. They do that uh, 
simply because of the enzymes in it and it's very good for their gut to digest everything with good enzymes uh, but don't worry they have very low stomach pH uh, it's very very acidic actually high stomach pH it's uh, the acidity of 2 so it goes uh, to a scale of 12 or 13 stomach acid yeah and dogs and cats it's at 2 so it's very acidic it's like battery acid don't worry about salmonella, don't worry about any of those things because they're naturally in their gut already. Tell us it. Be nice for the video. So yes, dogs and cats already naturally have salmonella in their gut. Give me paw. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Sit. Give me the other paw. This one. How about the other one? The other paw. Good job. Lay down. Uh, she wants to outperform. No more bacon. So yeah, those are my recommendations for feeding your dog raw food. For anything else, just ask me in the comments below and I'll try to answer you. And my little girl saying bye-bye. Thank you so much for liking the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to see my latest notifications. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.